The streets of London are again in chaos this morning with hundreds of rampaging youths taking part in violent riots. Martin Frizzell joins me now. Martin, these scenes are quite unbelievable. Nat, yes, it's the third night of rioting in London. We just had sunset about 20 minutes ago. Londoners are in for a long, anxious night. It is spreading right across the city from north to south. There are youths moving around and the police clearly seem to have a tactic, which is people, not property. They seem to be standing by and letting these, by and large, youths ransack, go away with whatever they want. In doing so, they're also setting fire to shops, they've been setting fire to buses. Many buses now have pulled off London streets, trains have stopped, there are police reinforcements from around England coming here. Uh, so still uh, early days yet and already the bad scenes are in London once more. Yeah, Martin, we're hearing that police are saying lock your doors, stay inside, we can't get to some areas. Police have actually withdrawn from some areas. A lot of Australians know London very well. What areas are we talking about? It's a long list. I wasn't going to re read it out because it is so long, but uh, I think many people will know the names and it's familiar names. They are areas that have had deprivation problems in the past, so it may have come as no surprise, but we're talking about Hackney, Stratford, Bethnal Green, Peckham, Lewisham, East Dulwich, Croydon, Camberwell. Other areas are likely to join that list as the night goes on. And also we're hearing that other cities may start to be involved in England now. There's a report from Birmingham that police and youths are squaring up to each other. OK, look, um, thanks very much for the update from London. Martin Frizzell will be checking back with you later in the morning.